One of the major challenges in the modern era in disease diagnosis is how we can detect the disease when we are still feeling healthy. We can today claim that we have the capability of predicting healthy people who are going to develop disease in the future using very simple and affordable device and approach which we call nanos. We rely in our approach on the so-called volatile biomarkers or in the scientific world it's called volatile organic compounds. These compounds basically are chemical analytes which are emitted as a result of the disease evolvement in the human body into the bloodstream and because they have high vapor pressure they have to be emitted outside the human body. They can do it either throughout urine or feces or throughout skin or throughout breath. For our research we have found that detection of these volatile biomarkers throughout breath would be the most beneficial. We have run clinical studies in more than 19 centers worldwide and we have identified a unique fingerprint in the breath of people with 17 types of different disease. Exactly as people have a unique fingerprint that discriminate a person from the another person, we have also similar chemical fingerprint but in exhaled breath that could discriminate different disease one from another. What we have done is to develop a device which can imitate the olfactory system of the human or the olfactory system of the canine and we can train this device in electronic and digital way so it can smell all of these fingerprints of the disease which appear in the exhaled breath. The device will enable us to know whether the person is healthy or has a disease and to predict who are the healthy people who has high risk to get disease in the future. And this is a very critical point because if we can identify the cancer or the disease at the very early stages, we can enable increasing the survival rate by several folds. For example, in the case of the lung cancer, we can increase the survival rate from 10% to 70% only by early diagnosis. This is the Nano's device. The Nano's device is made of two parts. First, we have a sensor chamber that contains two nanomaterial-based sensors, silicon nanowires and cold nanoparticles. These sen sensors interact with volatile organic compounds that we have in our breath. The other part of the nanos is uh, the software that we work with. The patient is asked to breathe normally while the sensor baseline is being measured. Then the software will actually ask the patient to hold their breath and then exhale into the tube, which is the entrance to the sensor chamber. The system measures the sensors again. And by monitoring the change in resistance, we can tell if a person has a specific disease or not and which disease it is. We have examined nanos in 19 hospitals worldwide on more than 8,000 patients. The Nanos has been licensed for several companies, both national and international companies, for a wide variety of applications, and hopefully soon it will be available in the market. A new project which is called Sniffon, which is being supported by the European Commission throughout the Horizon 2020 ICT program, will bring the Nanos technology into the smartphone. So once the person talk over the phone, the smartphone will react to the content of the breath and it will analyze the results. This is a quite important approach because it allows every person to get diagnosis of the disease without going into the clinic and also it might enable the early diagnosis of the disease. Even though we are feeling healthy, the device has much more sensitivity to feel whatever we don't feel as healthy people. Of course, this couldn't be happen without the real support of the Technion and the dedication of the Technion not only for science but also for education. Diagnosing cancer currently is a very painful process. So if you can add a step that is not painful, that is non-invasive, something that people wouldn't be afraid of, then I'm hoping that more people would be tested and that way we can diagnose cancer in much earlier stages and that's the key to saving lives. So it makes you that much empathetic and that much devoted to the cause of, of helping people um, of helping the fight against that disease.